What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Tundra VGC video. Now, today I will be bringing you guys a team builder around Dragonite, and there's two reasons for that. One, Dragonite is a personal favorite of mine, and it's been pretty hyped up this generation with it now being immune to Intimidate. And two, because a lot of people have been asking for me to show my team building process, like what I do when I team build, etc. So, yeah, I, I guess this is a video where you guys get both of those. I get to build around my favorite Pokemon, and you guys get to see the process. So, if you guys enjoy this at any point in time, or learn something new, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I'll be bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content, and we're well on the road to 20k. I am almost at 20,000 subscribers, and that's insane, so I really appreciate all the support lately. So yeah, like I said, Dragonite is completely immune to Intimidate now. It can still be burned, um, but it's now extremely good on lead. And I believe it also got access to dual wing beat, which is really cool because prior to this, uh, it's best flying stab were all uh, special, I believe. I think it got Hurricane too. Yeah, it got Hurricane, but uh, I want to run a physical attacker considering it has extremely high physical attack at 134. And on top of that, it's just completely immune to Intimidate. So we don't have to run like fly or wing attack. We actually have some pretty good stab now because what is a wing attack? Wing attack's base 60 power. Fly would take two turns to go off. So dual wing beat seems pretty good as our primary flying stab. Uh, I definitely want to run a weakness policy on this guy. I want to run some kind of self-proc weakness policy, I think. And what should my dragon stab be? What do I have here? We have physical category, physical, dragon claw, dragon tail, outrage, breaking swipe, dragon rush, scale shot. I mean, Dragon Claw is just the most reliable of all of these. Like, there's really no reason to run anything else. Outrage might be very strong, however, it is pretty unreliable when it comes to targeting a particular Pokemon. Scale Shot can miss and lowers their defense. Dragon Rush can miss. Breaking Swipe is pretty underpowered, but a useful utility move. But on a weakness policy Pokemon, I'm not going to be running too much utility. Uh, I definitely want to run Protect on this guy. And I do get one coverage move, which is really nice, since... My two stabs are really good. I kind of want to run a fighting move because it helps me beat steel types. And maybe, maybe I can actually run a steel move to beat fairies. But I think fighting is probably better overall. Dragon Claw. Uh, fighting. Why can't I spell today? Okay. So body press, brick break, detect, focus blast, focus punch, power up punch, super power. I really wish this guy got... Um, I really wish he got close combat. That'd be so broken though if Dragonite got close combat. Uh, I think it's in our best interest to just run superpower. Like, Brick Break is cool, but it's not as strong when you Dynamax it and turn it into Max Knuckle. It's still like 70 base power. So we'll go with superpower even though we're going to be lowering our attack afterwards. So, I mean, I mean, if we Max Knuckle, we're fine, but still, it's a little bit annoying. Or maybe I should run Max Quake. Maybe I should just run a ground move because it helps me beat Steels as well as other Pokemon that would wall me like Stack Attacka. And it can't get redirected. And it helps me boost my special defense too. So maybe I should do that. I don't know. We'll get around to that when we get around to it. Um, I definitely want something to self-proc this. So we have a couple of options. Ice. We could use like an Ice Shard user. Uh, we could go with like Quick Attack Sylveon. Uh, we could have a Rock move go into this guy. There are a couple of options. But I'm not really a fan of any of them. To be honest. They all seem pretty annoying. Uh, and unreliable. I would like something that can't be redirected. But as far as I know, there's no like rock type explosion. I could Misty Explode, but that would be a horrible idea. What if I actually did run Misty Explosion? What if I did run Misty Explosion? Like an underpowered one. A fast Misty Explosion. Um, I mean, Slurpuff seems pretty bad. <laughs> uh, something that can't be flinched. Is there an Inner Focus? Um, is there an Inner Focus Mon that also can't be flinched? Or that also gets Misty Explosion? No. Uh, is there any other ability that can't be flinched? I feel like there has to be one. Galarian Weezing would be pretty bad. Sylveon, maybe. I mean, I want something that's good on lead. Maybe something that can intimidate the opponent. Maybe I just don't run Misty Explosion. Maybe that's just a horrible idea. What Ice Pokemon could I run? Because I could Ice Shard it, but then I'm taking a, a decent amount of damage from that. Like, I would have to run... If I didn't want to take too much damage, I would have to run multi-scale, which isn't really worth it. Because what is this guy weak to? He's weak to rock, fairy, ice, and dragon. And as far as I know, there's no spread dragon move besides breaking swipe, and that doesn't hit me. Um, 
This is actually a really tough decision. Maybe I just don't run it. Maybe I run dual screens. I could run, ooh. I, I could run dual screens Coco with this guy and he could be pretty nasty. Maybe I just do that. Does Tapu Coco get any fairy move he can target to the side? Fairy wind. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I want to run that. What about something with draining kiss? I could run Comfe. Comfe could be interesting. Actually, let's go Comfe. Let's do the Comfe strat. Uh, so draining kiss. Trick room. Do I really want trick room on this guy? Maybe. I don't know. I definitely want screens. So maybe I'll run light clay Comfe. Because dual screens Comfe doesn't seem too bad. Oh, he doesn't get reflect. Are you kidding me? That's so lame. Gets charm, but that's not worth it. I don't know. What gets light clay and reflect? Or light screen and reflect? And is a good speed tier, so I can get that off. I could do Reggie Alecki, but I don't believe I can self proc my weakness policy. I could go for Ancient Power to the side, that could be pretty funny. <laughs> I could do that. That, that, that could actually be pretty funny. What if I did that? I don't, I don't know if that's worth it. Do you get any other good coverage moves you could, you could go to the side with? Um, you know, let's just run screens Reggie Alecki. And maybe we'll not self-proc at all. Light screen, reflect, electroweb, and thunderbolt seem pretty good. Give this guy a timid nature. I guess I could go modest and just outspeed Feramosa like a normal person, you know? Um, oh, we're not even on the right thing here. VGC 2021. Ch -ch -ch. So these guys level 50. What I like to do when I team build is I will actually just go ahead and get every Pokemon on the team builder and then figure it out from there. I like getting like the team visually up before I figure things out like stat spread wise. So Reggie Lucky, um, I know for a fact I'll be outspeeding like Feromosa with that thing just to be safe. What else do I want? So I have a dragon type. Um, they cover each other's weaknesses pretty well. Like, Finny is going to be really annoying, so this will allow me to hit the Finny. Or maybe instead of Superpower, I can run something to just KO the Finny. Does he get anything? I don't know. I think I would like to run Rillaboom as well. And the reason I want to run Rillaboom is because it provides me Fake Out support. I can also remove the Misty Train from the field and check Finny, which is really important. Uh, and ooh, what if I went Heatran? Okay, I like this. Rillaboom, Heatran, Regieleki, Dragonite. This seems pretty cool. This seems pretty cool already. This team looks like a banger. Does this guy get Burning Jealousy? He does, but I don't know if I want to run that. We'll figure it out. Um, So I could use a Water type right now. And obviously, Dragonite could be running multi-skill, so they might lead Intimidate anyway. So maybe I could go like Milotic or something. Milotic wouldn't be terrible. Hmm. What if I ran Galarian Articuno? I don't know if that's the play. Let's get that water type. Dracovish does not seem like the play. Kingdra, Tapu Fini does not seem like the play either. I mean, Tapu Fini would be good, but if I'm trying to build around Dragonite, I definitely don't want to set up Misty Terrain. And we have a few options. Maybe I do go Milotic, or Primarina even. Primarina could be really good. It gives me a Trick Room option as well. I think I might do that. I might do that. But hold on, this team is also very Glacier weak, so I need something to check that. Is there like a Water Fighting type? <laughs> we could go Dreadnought. I don't know, all I know is I need a Trick Room option to beat Glacier. So... Maybe we'll forego the water type right now. We need to look at slow trick room options that be Glacier. Conkledur could be interesting. Also Urshifu, Urshifu could be good. 
but he doesn't function too well under Trick Room. Um, I could have an Imprisoned Trick Roomer. I think that's what I want to do. I definitely need an Imprisoned Trick Roomer, and that'll make it easier to stop it. Let's do that. Imprison. Trick Room. Something bulky. There are a decent amount of options this gen too, so. Um, what do I really want? I don't want another fire type. I know that for a fact. I could try Yuxi as like a pseudo Cresselia, or maybe I just have Cresselia itself. Does Cresselia get in prison? It does not. Okay. So it's between Mesprit or Yuxi, I think. I did see that Mesprit team the other day that interests me. Prison, Trick Room. I don't want to run Ice Punch because I could like freeze my own Dragonite. Maybe I will have something to self proc. Maybe I will. Ooh, it gets Drain and Kiss. I could do that. Helping Hand doesn't seem bad. I could also run Safeguard. Oh, wait, this guy might be solid. What's Yuxi's speed stat? 95. Ooh, what if I go Yuxi? Yuxi could actually be interesting. Yuxi could be really interesting because I also get Safeguard. So I want Imprison, Trick Room. He has really low offensive stats too, which is really useful. Because I could self-proc myself. Ooh, it also gets Yawn, but I don't want to run full support as the thing. Hmm. What's the fastest sleep user in the format right now? I mean, Amoongus could be annoying. I definitely want Safeguard. I think I want Safeguard here. So I'm not running Protect on him, which is kind of bad, to be honest. I can't lie, that's pretty bad. Uh, maybe I just run Ice Beam for coverage. And if I... Oh, he only gets Ice Punch? He doesn't get Ice Beam? That's so lame. It gets Draining Kiss, which is funny. Uh, I guess I just run Psychic. This could be interesting. Psychic. Um, it'd be interesting if we could two-shot a uh, specially defensive Amoongus. How are people running Amoongus right now? I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to two-shot. Not really. Amoongus, Kabuberry, Focus Ash, Wikiberry. Not many of the, um... Not many of the... What's it called? Psychic Reducing Berries. Payapa. That's, there's not many of those right now. So it looks like, hmm, I could just calc for like worst case scenario. Yuxi, Amoongus, let's go with a specially defensive set. Let me see if I can two shot the worst case scenario. Psychic. Wow, I, I cannot. That is that is pretty lame. That is pretty lame. Wow, this thing's so weak. Does Psy Shock do more? I mean, Psy Shock would do more. But not to a physically defensive one. I mean, a lot of them are running physical defense, so I'll calc for that one. 252. I th believe they're running relaxed 100. Relaxed 100 speed, or 100 special defense. And that comes close, but I don't know if I want to run... Because I definitely want some speed on this guy to avoid, you know, yawns and stuff. To be able to get up my safeguard and imprison. How much would it take to two-shot this thing? Probably, like, way too much for it to be worth it. Yeah, 220? Oh my god, it's so bad. I mean, I suppose we just run it as a coverage option. Imprison, Trick Room, Safeguard. 
Um, do I want leftovers or a citrus berry? I definitely want to like give this guy a lot of speed, a lot of HP. What if I levitated my heatran? I mean, I can outspeed Jolly. I can outspeed Jolly Landorus and make it so my heatran levitates. That could be funny. That's so. That's so useless, though. To be honest, that's so useless. Let me give this guy a sugar berry. We're definitely gonna be running that. Uh, heat wave. Protect. Flash cannon. And my last move is pretty optional. I could run like burning jealousy, but I think taunt isn't a bad option overall. I need a fairy, bro. Fairy water. Maybe I do run Primarina. This team is definitely missing a water type. Hmm. I think I might go Primarina. It does give me a solid trick room option. Could run zero speed. Just slap like a life orb on this thing. Liquid voice, so we go hyper voice. Protect. Moonblast. And um I mean I guess we could run Hydro Cannon. Does it get thunder? I was gonna say that'd be funny. Hydro Cannon. Probably AV Rillaboom. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I definitely need to hit a different speed tier, though. I'm not sure how fast I want to go. Uh, we want Grassy Glide. We want Fake Out, Knock Off, and High Horsepower. This could be a solid team. It's very scary. Hmm. Do I want to run Draining Kiss on this thing to proc my weakness policy? I don't know if it's worth it. I might. Bro, I might. Uh, this is going to be so bad. This is going to be so bad. I guarantee you this is just the worst. All right. Uh, I want to outspeed Landris. Definitely want to do that. So, what is Landorus' speed maxed? I have one here. There it is. 157 when maxed out. So we need outspeed 157. One fifty-eight. Let's max out that HP. And I suppose we can just go physical defense. <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. Alright, um, and do I run safety goggles on this guy? I don't know. Because the reason this is actually kind of cool is because I can, if, if I'm facing like an Amoongus, I can just set up a safeguard and max airstream. And if I'm not facing like an Amoongus, I can just set up, you know, drain and kiss and KO things. I like this. I like this. So what speed tier do I want to reach with this guy? I want to outspeed Faramosa. Just to be safe. 223, so we want to hit 224. Wow, that takes nothing. <laughs> that takes literally nothing. Cool. Just do that. Why not? Make him really scary. Alright. Um, Rillaboom. I would like to outspeed slightly invested Tapu Fini, or maybe I don't. I mean, I'll hit 109 speed because I know some Tapu Fini are creeping to creep the. Uh, maybe maybe I just check. Is it even worth outspeeding Tapu Fini? Is that like even a relevant calc? I guess it would be a relevant calc because if they set up Misty Terrain, then my Grassy Glide won't go first. So 52 speed. I guess we could run 54 because we speed tie otherwise. Let's do that. All 
or not 54, but 60. We'll go with that for now. Heatran, um, what is a relevant Pokemon for Heatran to outspeed? Maybe I just run full bulk. I know for a fact I need to make sure I actually live a um, an Earthquake from Landorus there when I'm Dynamaxed. Heatran, Landorus, Therian, a lot of them are running Life Orb right now, I believe. Yeah, 10% Life Orb usage, so it's worth calcing. Um, Landorus. Jolly. They're all Jolly, right? Yeah, there's only a couple of Adamant. So I'll calc Jolly Life Orb. All right, Max Quake. This is doing way too much to me. <laughs> Give this guy a Shooka Berry. Shooka Berry, where are you? There it is. So, remove some of that. Let's see how much this is gonna take. Wow, I already almost live that when I'm Dynamaxed. Okay, so that's how much it takes. Uh, what if I'm not Dynamaxed? What if I just want to take an Earthquake? Okay, we'll calc for that. It takes a reasonable amount of HP. Some defense investment. Make sure we always love that. I might just max out the... I mean, what, what speed do I want? What What is at 77 speed that I could, I, I could be outspeeding? What is around his speed tier? Salandit. <laughs> yeah, let me outspeed Salandit real quick. Um, Diggersby isn't too common. Neither are any of these Pokemon. I could just run no speed on him. Yeah, there aren't, there aren't too many Pokemon I'm super concerned. Ooh, Metagross. That's actually a big one. That is a big one. How many Metagross are max speed? I mean, some of them are max speed, but they're usually running adamant. Hmm. 5% or 100 speed. I mean, it's pretty uncommon to run into speedy Metagross, and that would take a lot. This is actually a very tough call. It's a very tough call. Usually they're like no speed, some are four speed, but I'm always outspeeding them then. Dang, okay. Um, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. So Metagross can run 107 speed to outspeed Dragapult under Tailwind. So I'm gonna run 108. Eight, but I also don't want to speed tie with my own Rillaboom, so maybe I'll make it so I definitely want this guy to be more offensive. So I'll, I'll hit 10, I'll hit 108 with this guy, and I will increase Rillaboom speed just a little bit so I know that there is some hierarchy of speed. I'm not speed tying with my own Pokemon because that could also be pretty awkward. Wait. Okay, yeah. Never mind. That that was that was dumb. For some reason, I thought it was 108 speed in my Rillaboom. Then I remembered I was speed creeping for a Tapu Fini. So 108 there. Nothing else is at like the exact same speed tier, right? I, I don't like it when I speed tie with my own Pokemon because it creates very awkward situations in the matches. So now I'm speed crept for Metagross speed creeping for <laughs> Tailwind Dragapult, if that's a thing. Uh, we max out this. How much defense did I have? 44. And I can dump the rest into special attack and go modest. All right, and do I one-shot that thing with Max Flare? How much special attack do I have? I have 124 Modest. Metagross. Special attack, Dynamax. I don't. What if the sun's up? What if the sun is up? Eh. I think I'll just take I'll take my chances because I think I I'm gonna give it weakness policy as the thing, and I don't think I take plus two max quake, even when I'm dynamaxed. All 
Oh my god, I do. I take plus two max quake. So I could actually 1v1 a Metagross. That's pretty cool. Um, that, that's actually very interesting. I like it. I like it. This team seems pretty pretty cool. Um, I definitely want to have enough speed on this. We haven't even made the main star of the team yet. I definitely want to max out this guy's attack. Just because it's so devastating. I think I have to run a Jolly Nature though. And what I want to do is outspeed Dragapult at plus one. So, what is that? That's uh, 214 divided by 1 1.5. 143. I need to hit 143 speed. Ooh, okay, that's just barely possible. We'll just put that in HP. Okay, uh, I mean, let's get some testing. Let's get some testing on this team. Ooh, I don't have an item for you. Do I run Citrus Berry? Probably. Probably Citrus Berry. I could run Safety Goggles, but I like the Citrus Berry. We run a Quiet Nature on this guy. Zero speed. Okay. Looks like everything is set. Let's try it out. For all I know, this team is absolute trash. Okay, so uh, I tried to do a battle, and as it turns out, I was not running the right ability on my Rillaboom. So anyone who caught that and was commenting and screaming at me while I was doing that, yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you. I saw your comments in the future, and now we are running the correct ability. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually practice. Let's let's actually practice here. I wish that Mesprit, or not Mesprit, I wish that this Uxie could be useful in other situations. And this looks like it's going to be one of the situations where it's going to have to be useful. Um, wow, they get absolutely tossed up by, by Uxie imprisoning the Trick Room. We'll lead off with that. That just seems to be a good good, uh, good call right now. Um, I can also lead off with... Maybe I go Dragonite. kind of want to go Rillaboom. The thing is, if I go Rillaboom, I'm able to fake out the... Um... Uxie, interesting. GL, YouTube. I'm able to fake out the Whimsicott on a possible taunt. So I'll actually go Rillaboom on lead. It also checks a couple of other things. Heatran in the back doesn't seem very bad. And I think I have to go either Dragonite or Aleki here. I kind of want to go Primarina because Primarina does do some decent work versus this thing. But Dragonite's probably the better call. Okay. So, I mean, they're not running Surge on Tapu Fini. No, they are. I'm just slower. So they're running a pretty fast Tapu Fini. I think it's pretty clear they're about to switch out. Um, there's no there's no way Tapu Fini just stays in here. So I think my play is going to be to go hard into Heatran and fake out the Whimsicott. Wow, they actually just attacked. Their eject button? Okay. So they Dazzle and Gleam here. Um, I'm cool with this. They might be... Ooh, that could be bad if they Dynamax here. I'll go Dragonite on this play. And I think I just want to go for the... Um, there's no way they stand with Finny. Finny staying in is such an awful decision here. But they could is the issue. All Grassy Glide. Okay, they do switch out now. It's going to do a decent chunk of damage. Because they max Ooze. Makes sense. I actually survive, so what I'll do is I will Dynamax here. I'll go for a max Airstream into Landris, and I can Grassy Glide into Landris. If they don't switch out their Whimsicott, I'll be able to get some decent damage. That's good. They ooze again. They're at plus two special attack, but this will be doing a decent chunk. Oh yeah, that's good damage. That is good damage. Um, I need to prevent that Trick Room in the late game. I don't think they can one-shot my Dragonite unless they have, like, a special rock move. I'll just protect here with my Heatran to try to survive the hit. And I'll airstream into them once more. Because if they give me my weakness policy, I think I just sweep. Alright, so I lose my weakness policy. That's fine. They're not doing too much damage. They probably thought they had a jack button still. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. And while I am slower than the Tapu Finny, I think it's still worth it to just attack here into the Finny. And also just Flash Cannon, because they can't one-shot my Heatran. I want to get that. I, I want to get rid of the Tapu Finny really bad. That won't knock me out. I'll get some good damage here. And now I should be outspeeding their whole team for the rest of the game. As they have Kartana. Okay, I'm plus two speed on my Heatran. 
but they only have one more turn of Tailwind. I'll do a Wing Beat here and actually just protect as they are faster. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. I think I just lose, unfortunately. I can try to Trick Room and get a double protect. I fail, though. Yeah, good game. Unfortunately, they do still have speed. Maybe, maybe I need more speed on this guy. I don't know. It's probably not worth it. GLHF. They look like they're running sort of a Blaziken Bisharp sort of team, where instead of Blaziken, they're running the Cinderace. Um, I definitely don't want to lead off with like. Actually, no. Dragonite looks super solid on the lead. Dragonite looks actually really gross on the lead now that I think about it. I could Trick Room on them, though. They get messed up if I go with that. Uh, let's go Rillaboom. Let's Trick Room on them. I'll bring the Uxie in the back. Or the Uxie and Rillaboom. I'll bring Premier in the back. And I think I go Heatran as well. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good call. Fast Uxie under Trick Room is really awkward, though. It's mostly meant for stopping the Trick Room, but it's still cool. There's the Tornadus and the Tapu Lele. I'll actually be able to overwrite this. Let me go ahead and fake out their Tornadus. Go for the Trick Room. They can't prevent that since Tornadus is floating. You should always go for a Fire move here. I'll go Heatran Primarina here. Heatran on the Rillaboom to catch the Fire move. Or actually... I'm Flash Fire, right? Yeah, I am. Cool. I might run Flame Body, but I kind of like Flash Fire right now. For this sort of situation. There's the Air Slash. There's the Max Steel Spike. We quad resist that. That's great. And, I mean, Cinderace should Max Guard here, I think. Maybe I Dynamax right now. I'll Dynamax up. I'll go for a Max Steel Spike. And Hyper Voice, just to get rid of this Tornadus. As they opt not to protect, which is interesting. Ooh, I don't KO, that's a little bit annoying. The Air Slash, and I'm actually in a pretty good spot now. Uh, what I'll do here is I will Max Steel Spike into the Tornadus, go for a Moonblast into the Cinderace, because that will definitely knock it out. And if I can get my Rillaboom in late game, I'm in a position where I can start Grassy Gliding. Basically, if I remove these guys and get Rillaboom in last, they can't reset their terrain. And Steel Spike looks really safe here, because while everything he has that isn't Tapu Lele could resist it, it is just a, a generally good move to use to boost my defense. And I have one more turn at Trick Room, so I'm in a, I'm in a very good spot here. Primarina has plus two defense, so it's pretty difficult to knock out, since it already has pretty massive special defense. There's the Dracovish. Um, they're typically choice banded, so I'll just go ahead and knock it out with my my Primarina, and I'll also go for the Steel Spike. Yeah, they're typically choice banded if they're or if not choice scarf, so they don't really have a way of defending it. So that's gonna be a good game. Managed to pick up a win there. So Yuxi actually putting in some work, putting in some work right now. That's pretty cool. Okay, interesting. So, pretty standard Moltres team, GLHF. It shouldn't be too difficult to get our weakness policy off here. Hmm. I think I always lead off a Leki and try to go for screens. And Dragonite on lead isn't bad either. Rillaboom in the back, and I think I go Heatran. And the reason I'm doing that is because Heatran helps me beat the um, the Metagross if need be. And uh, Aleki is good for speed control overall. I can set up my screens. If there isn't a Raichu in the lead, I'll be able to do that pretty easily. Uh, Rillaboom is really good for removing the terrain from the Tapu Fini. And as soon as that's gone, Dragonite can start doing work. It's taking a second. He's thinking about it. He goes, what is this team? Why is there a Yuxi?
As he leads off Metagross Tapu Fini. I mean, I think that's just free screens for me. I can just go for a Reflect here and get in the Heatran. And I think Thunderbolt into Max Flare will KO the, um, the Metagross. He decides to go Raichu. Makes sense. Steel Spikes the Heatran. I mean, I always live the hit now. Which is nice. Um, here he should probably go for the Max Quake into the Heatran. So what I'll do is I will go for a uh, Light Screen now. And I will get in the Dragonite. Here's the impulse, that's fine. Is he quakes? He's probably gonna nuzzle. I'm behind reflect now, so I should always take the hit. Um, I mean, he's gonna go for the ice move, right? I'll just go Heatran. I'll just nay nay all over him. As he vault switches out, that's fine. Go into Finny. Here's the Incineroar, okay. Yeah, man hailstormed. So what I can do here, uh, he might parting shot with the Incineroar is the only issue. But I think high horsepower after my max flare should do it. I just really want this uh, Metagross gone. High horsepower, max flare. He wasn't even weakness policy. That man might have been assault vest. See parting shots. That's all right. I mean, I still have all of the pressure. Really, I have a lot of offensive pressure. And he's pretty much down to three support Pokemon when you think about it. There's the Raichu. I mean, Raichu's just gonna eerie impulse here. I don't really care. thinking about it. He goes, who do I go into? Incineroar? Yeah. Okay. So I just go Dragonite here. Um, I will Steel Spike, or actually I'll just Flare the Raichu. I want damage on it. It's not going to Volt Switch. It's going to Eerie Impulse, and I want to break the Sash. Once Raichu's gone, Aleki does a lot of work. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Uh, what I can do here is just go for the... I'll Dual Wing Beat the Raichu. And I'll also go for a Steel Spike into it. And the reason I'm Steel Spiking is because I don't expect Raichu to stay in. Yep, there it is. He should go into Tapu Fini pretty much every time. Get some good damage here. Dual Wing Beat. Steel Spike. Nice. As he parting shots the Dragonite, I really don't care. We're just wearing down his team now. And I'm behind screens. I'll just dual wing beat into the, um... Actually, I can probably get rid of this Raichu right now if I Dragon Claw and go Rillaboom. It's the Volt Switch. That's fine. Let's see if I get my policy. Is he Calm Minds up? That is, once again, perfectly fine. Not really scared of that thing. Go for a dual wing beat into it. And, uh, we'll Grassy Glide. He's just gonna fake out me, so. Okay. I can just continue to double into this thing, and I'll be probably alright. Hmm. Actually, let me do this. If I lower this thing's speed with a Lecky, it becomes a lot easier. 
and I can also set up screens again. Maybe I just light screen and heat wave, catch everything pretty much. Or I could taunt. Let's just taunt it. Make it so it can't protect versus my um versus my Rillaboom. And it also can't uh, Calm Mind up after this. Cool. Uh, he should always just go right back into Raichu, since this thing can't protect. So, I mean, I can just Heat Wave. I think Incineroar has to switch out for Raichu. So if I'm making that call, I Heat Wave. And I will go Dragonite. the muddy water we survived that no accuracy drop heat wave up get rid of the raichu and that should definitely just be game because now it's susceptible to getting ko'd by my aleki i will just dual wing beat into you as well as flash cannon because you can't protect get the berry is he's wiki berry okay Send in the Rillaboom once again, incapable of protecting, so I just win now. Uh, let me go ahead and get in Aleki here as I Grassy Glide. That was a really interesting endgame. I had to really position myself there. Alright, GG. Getting the Dragonite. Super power up. High horsepower. And those two should definitely do it. Yeah, he's, he's like, how do I win this? You do not. You do not win this. Nice. Gets his berry. High horsepower. Good game. Nice. So, um, honestly, the team, it does have some very clear issues. Uh, it struggles a lot versus Trick Room. Uh, it seems that maybe maybe the, the Uxie isn't the best call. It could definitely function a lot better with something else, but I, I, I do like being able to use the Uxie for... You know, specifically imprisoning Trick Room and getting a safeguard up if need be. But there are some issues with that. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.